What's good, people? It's rolling in Agent 317. I want to send a salute to the masking mercenaries, the madam mercenaries, all solid affiliates. Looking forward to make shit happen. You can hit this link. Hit code 10, Ronin10, for a 10% discount. Join the A-game lifestyle. Well, I just finished a workout with my personal trainer, and uh, I wanted to speak on the necessity of brotherhood. I, it's loosely uh, brought about in this space, and for many reasons, because you might call them cliques, a mob, a crew, posse, they serve their respective names and purposes, but in this space, the necessity of brotherhood is sorely needed. As mentioned many times over, we talk about systems, order, and structure. And what I learned in the Marine Corps is you come from different walks of life and you have to basically break down all the bullshit you brought in. And in order to get things done, you have to rely on the um, soldier next to you. You have to learn about yourself and learn about your peers. That way you guys use you work as a a, a well-oiled machine. You think about the uh, the 300 like the movie. And forget the part about FELTs because you know he was a you know F19 as an example. But when you have a band of brothers who are able to um, work together as a crew, pick each other up, encourage each other to be the best and the greater selves, you'd be surprised what you're able to overcome. Uh, for example, when during my time in the Marine Corps, um, in order to, I guess, uh, undermine my growing leadership, they gave me a guy who they viewed as a shitbird. Um, Rest in peace, uh, Lance Corporal Wilson. And he was like a, you know, guy who was from the sticks. You know, basically he didn't catch on to things as perceived. And they, you know, they put him under my leadership and they thought it'd be a joke. So when I first met him, we had open honest conversation. I just wanted to know how he understood things, how he was able to interpret information and learn about him honestly. So and learning, you know, him and his background and sharing mine, I made a promise to him. I said, while we're working together, I'm gonna to do everything in my power to make sure not only you learn everything that I learned, but you become better than me. Because there will come a time where I move on to something else and you have to take my place. See, in a brotherhood, similar to the military, as a lot of my veterans will um, promote leaders create leaders unfortunately in the maggle sphere you have individuals who want to be the top dog on a pile of shit you have very uh, few leaders who actually groom others to be better you have individuals who think they're the top dog because they're yelling the loudest or they're getting a whole heap of donations for dumb shit. Or they'll do anything for clout. That's why uh, the masculine mercenary have been promoting the whole thing about content creators versus conflict creators. Substance over everything. You gotta have substance. Usually the ones who tell the truth, they're not viewed as popular. They're often viewed as people who are bashing, woman haters, um, all these negative things. Because in this society, we live in a bizarre world. But I digress from all that. Brotherhood, especially me doing Uber driving, I've been able to talk to quite a few brothers. And some of the brothers are happy to actually express themselves. And when you give them open and honest advice to uh, better their situation, they leave better than when they came. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to challenge each other and ourselves to grow. Because if that person around you isn't doing any of that, they're, they're a hindrance. They're a masculine obstructionist. Because some people feel comfortable keeping you buried 
way beyond below your potential. See, many people talk about snakes in the grass, but these snakes are different. Some of them call you brother. Some of them call you honey, sweetheart, son, father, um, bay. A lot of these snakes have many fangs that look like a smile, but they do all call backbiting shit. They'll run your name down behind your back. They'll shit on your vision. But see, in a brotherhood, you're supposed to be able to share that vision. And you have people in your circle not just help you promote your vision, but have add some suggestions how to enhance it and yourself. If that person is weak, you help them up. You're supposed to have an ear to, you know, share things and push each other forward. Because adversity is always going to come to you. As men, we're going to have to prove ourselves. But when you have a soldier right next to you, and when you're down, you'll have that person pull you back up. Because even the greatest content creators, or even people you look up to, those pillars of influence do require maintenance. They do require reassurance that they're doing the right thing, that they're making an impact, that they're pushing you forward in what they say matters and makes sense. Because all of us are never above approach. No matter how hard some of these motherfuckers aspire to deny it. So, that's something I'll go into later. But, I know my role. My job is to not just push myself and run my own race. Ensure that when my brothers are going through something, I provide a sound ear, an active ear. And get them to look at the situation uh, in a better perspective, never allowing them to become a prisoner of perspective. Because if they fall under my watch, that's an L I have to take. See, there's individuals among us who don't want to claim responsibility for their own brothers. And it'll show, you don't have to point them out, you just see what they do. And me, I'm gonna get mine. And I have no problem shouting out brothers who are out there putting great content because I'ma still run my own race. I'ma still grow my channel. I'ma still get to where I need to be. You know, shout out to King Riches too. Um, you know, the Masking and Mercenaries, uh, Meteor uh, Tutorials and Reviews, and a legion of others. You know, Lovely T. There's a lot of people who are real solid people on and offline. In a sense, they can't show it to everybody because yeah, there's some shit birds out there. But again, in closing, check your circle. If you're not able to share your vision with them, if you're not able to um, have a sense of happiness and you have people who groan or have something to say or do or even oppose you of moving forward, my advice to you is get the fuck away from them. Or if you're savvy enough, use them as a stepping stone to get where you need to be in the best way possible. But that was my thought on brotherhood. There's more I could say about it, but I got to take care of business. So to you out there who got a vision, I support and salute you guys, especially the ones who are going through some shit. But we're going to grow as a, as a crew. And in time, I look forward to seeing, you know, my peers get better because I know if I'm surrounded by five millionaires, I know I'm going to be the next one. That's the mindset we need to have. Not online, pitching and moaning about panhandling for pussy. But, as always, never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. And all your tender dicks, you might need to find something else to do. So you can choke on a smegma smoothie. Peace.